Welcome. In this video, I want to see how we can uh, use implicit differentiation to find dy over dx or the derivative of a given function. So when we say implicit functions, uh, sometimes it's very easy to make y the subject of the formula in the given function. But when you look at this particular function, it will be very difficult to express y as a function of x. In other words, it will be very difficult for us to make y the subject of the formula. So, in such a scenario, what you have to use is what you call implicit differentiation. Okay? Uh, implicit differentiation comes from uh, uh, a function of a function rule, but I'm not going to go in detail for that. I'll just show you the, the simple way of doing it. So, what you, you have to do is you're going to use some rule because you're adding and all that. So, we are going to find dy over dx of this, dy over dx of that, dy over dx of this, and that. So let's just do that. So we come to this one. We are finding, in other words, dy over dx, again, plus xy. We are finding dy over dx plus y squared. For this, again, we have to find dy over dx is equal to in y and find dy over dx. Now, whenever you are finding dy over dx of y, you have to differentiate with respect to y, then you attach dy over dx. So like this one, the derivative of y, you are going to look at the power here, the power is 1, so you are going to say 1 multiplied by the coefficient, which will be 1, then you reduce the power by 1. So this will be 1 multiplied by 1, we get 1. Then 1 minus 1, we get 0. 0, y to the power 0, we get a 1. So here we're going to have 1, but because we differentiated y, so now what this means is whenever we differentiate uh, y with respect to x, we have to differentiate with respect to y, but we attach dy over dx. So when you look at this one, the derivative of this one with respect to uh, y is 1. But again, we have to attach dy over dx. So we are going to have 1. We attach dy over dx plus, which is this one. Then we come to this one. This is the product of two functions. So we are going to use product two. We keep one constant, we differentiate the other plus we differentiate this one, we keep the other one constant. The product rule was discussed in the previous video. So if you want to check it out, you can see the previous videos. So we come here. Whenever we differentiate with x, we don't attach dy over dx. So if I try to keep x constant, differentiate y, I'll get 1. But because I differentiated y, I have to attach dy over dx. So this will be dy over dx. I have to attach that plus. Now I differentiated y. So here I'll keep y constant and differentiate x. So I'll keep y constant. Then the derivative of this one is 1. Every time you differentiate x, you don't attach dy over dx. That is what uh, implicit differentiation is all about. Then I'll come to this one plus. Here I'll differentiate, but remember this is y, so I'll attach dy over dx. So let me differentiate. 2 multiplied by 1, we get 2, then y, then the power 2 will reduce by 1. So 2 minus 1, we get 1, so it's the same thing. But here I differentiated y, so to this I have to attach dy over dx. This is equal to, when I come here, I'm differentiating this one. Differentiation of in y is equal to 1 over y. But again, I differentiated with respect to y, so I have to attach dy over dx. Okay. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I, I'm going to, to correct the terms that have dy over dx so that I can make dy over dx the subject of the formula. So now, 
I'm going to bring all the terms with dy over dx one side so that I can make dy over dx the subject of a formula. Okay, so how about this one? So it would be dy over dx plus x dy over dx then plus 2y dy over dx then here we are going to have this will be we put minus this and minus this side so that we can eliminate this one we are going to have 1 over y dy over dx is equal to I'm going to bring this one here it will be minus y okay so if I bring this one here because this one doesn't have dy over dx so I'll bring it this side so from here we can factor out dy over dx this one is common so I'll bring it here dy over dx then here what will remain there is 1 plus x plus 2y then minus 1 over y this is equal to minus y now the next thing that I need to do is to divide this so that I can remain with dy over dx so I will do that throughout I will do it both sides minus 1 over 1 I will do it using this side 1 plus x plus 2y minus 1 over y so now I can simplify this will simplify so what we are going to have is dy over dx is equal to minus y divided by 1 plus x plus 2y minus 1 over y okay. so and this is what is going to be our derivative dy over dx so we are going to have this thing So this is going to be our dy over dx. Now every time you are taught to differentiate something that contains y and x or it can be theta but you are differentiating with respect to x whenever there is no x you differentiate but you attach dy over dx. So for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching.